Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thanks for watching the video. Now, I have to say a very special thank you to Oily Hands for getting me that t-shirt that I wore on Friday night on my live. Thank you very much, Oily Hands, for that t-shirt. What a cracker. The good lady liked it as well. So, I've been shopping. I've been to Asda. Come and have a look at what I've got. So, i seen this was new. It's a large Melton Mowbray pork pie and it's the Asda Extra Special range. And it's 454 grams. Look at that. Extra special pork pie. Melton Mowbray it says. Cool. Now this was um, £3.50. And when I, got, when I bought it I thought... I've not done a pork pie on the channel before, but I have. I got a lovely butcher's pork pie delivered and I did a short video on it. It was double the price of that, but it was really good and I think it was bigger as well. It was a tasty one and it was a lovely gift. I think it came from the Boston area. It did. Boston area from a butcher's there. But anyway, let's get into this one and have a look, see what we've got. So there is a little traffic light system on there and, you know, it's a pork pie at the end of the day. It's going to be full of fat and flavour. So, you know, if, you, if you're worried about all these, uh, all this, then forget buying a pork pie. So let's have a look at the, um, I was going to say nutritional information, but I'll just go past that one. There's the ingredients there. Um, outdoor bread pork, 37%. And there's also pork lard, outdoor bread pork. Cooked pork shoulder, 12%, and there's allergens in there, wheat and egg. No artificial colours, flavours or hydrogenated fats. Uh, there's a little bit of spiel about it there. Look, prepared with tender seasoned outdoor bread, British pork, our extra special Melt and Mowbray pork pies wrapped in a golden hot water crust pastry. Oh, look at that. 454 grams, a GB sticker, and it says outdoor bread. And housed in straw barns. Obviously that is the pigs. <laughs> With rich bone stock jelly. Mm. So I've had it in my fridge. But I've had it out of my fridge for about 40 minutes now. Just to get to room temperature. So let's get it open. So. I mean. It's, it's a share of this isn't it. Let's be honest. You know I mean. You wouldn't buy a massive pie like this to eat on your own would you. Oh, you, you might. Look at the size of it. It's a beast. It is a big pork pie. 454 grams. Look at that. Oh, I do love a pork pie. I really do. So if this is your kind of video, please give the video a thumbs up. And, and also maybe consider subscribing if you've not subscribed. Because that does help the channel as well. And it's free. So anyway, let's, let's get this cut open and see what we've got. So I'm just going to cut, cut it in half and have a look. Put that up there. Oh, look at that. Now, there it is. Look, have a look inside there. Look, there's the, the sort of the jelly around the, oh, it's just falling apart. There's the jelly around the edges. Look, and I, I like that. I must admit. I wish there was more of it though, I really do. There's the other half, look. I wish that was all brimming with jelly all around the edges. Oh, it's so tasty. And there's the fat in there, look, it's well sort of. You just know it's going to be tasty. It's got to be, hasn't it? It's a pork pie. Melton Mowbray, it says. Extra special, has there. So I'm going to cut it again. And again, watching the old fingers. <laughs> so there it is. Now I like a pork pie with brown sauce and I've got some brown sauce and I'm going to show you it in a minute. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to try this as it is. It's a treat this, isn't it? I mean, it's new out. It said it's new. So that's why I got it. And I've not had a pork pie in a long time. So I just fancied it, and I know it's three and a half quid, but it's it's a sharer, isn't it? You know, ploughman's lunch pork pie, or just a cheese board and pork. 
I'll be how you want. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that is lovely. <clears throat> no gristly bits. The meat's just, just sort of melted away in my mouth. It's well seasoned. The pastry is lovely. It's got a crunch to it, a bit of a bite. There we are, look at that. Mmm. That is lovely. Oh, that is so good. Oh. It is well seasoned. It's a bit salty, but it's pork. It's going to be salty. It's lovely. Look at that. Mmm. Oh. I'm going to get some brown sauce now. Mmm. Let me get a bit of better light for you. Have a look at that. Oh, that is lovely. It really is good. It's a bit peppery. I'm getting a bit of pepper on the back end now. Coming through. But I want to get some brown sauce. So this is a gift. I got some um, scent. Stokes brown sauce. Jenny Graham got me this. She got me a couple of bottles. And she said... Try this Stokes, I mean, <clears throat> I got it off Amazon, I got it delivered, when I tried it first, it was a bit sweet, and I thought it's not really for me, but to be honest, I'm hooked by it now, it's all eight, well when I say it's all eight, I've got loads of brown sauces in there, I'm getting through them, but that is lovely, it really is, it just, it's very sweet to start with, but the ingredients are really good. Malt vinegar from barley, unrefined uh, uh, raw cane sugar, tomato puree, dates puree, 9%. There's the ingredients, look. A great British condiment, rich in date puree, black treacle with our unique blend of spices. Perfect for sausage, bacon and great ingredients too. And it is good. It's lovely. So I'm going to have some with this. I'm going to have some. You've got to watch it. It comes out quick as well. Only want a little bit. There we are. I'm not going to eat all this pork pie. I'm, I'll have that bit there and I'll put that back in the fridge. You've got to consume it within a few days. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, that is lovely. That is really good. I'm in a bit of a pork heaven here. Mm. No gristle neither. It's lovely. It really is. Apologise for talking with my mouth full. Just one of those things. It's a treat and I'm, you know... I thought when I bought it, I thought that's a bit expensive, but you know, on reflection, it's it is what it is. Got to get used to these prices, and it's lovely. And it's a treat, and it's a definitely a share. I mean, you could three people, um, three, two people, <laughs> cheese board, <sighs> fantastic. I mean, it's not something I do. I don't. I mean, I don't don't mind a cheese board, but it's not something I'd sort of. I would, you know. Buy a load of cheeses and, and have a cheese bar. I enjoyed the cheese on in France when I was on a holiday because you do, don't you? Baguettes and cheese, you sort of go with the flow. But that is lovely. That really is. My, my dad would absolutely love that. He loves pork pies, as my dad. Um. Oh yeah. So I, I'm going to struggle not eating all this today. I really am. <sighs> Diet's going well. <laughs> I went out for a run this morning again. Another two miles. I'm going to do a day on day off. I'm trying to keep off the carbs as well. 
that's the plan. But that is, that's a good, it's a good nine and a half out of ten. Definitely good and it's a cracker. Really is. Definitely you've got to keep it at room temperature as well. Get out the fridge, let it, let, let it get to room temperature as well. So thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.